an iPod third generation. The hard drive failed in it. And I found that uh, you can easily, this is the hard drive that failed, I found that you could easily upgrade the iPod to a CF flash card as opposed to putting a new hard drive in there. I got the hard drive to CF adapter on eBay. It was about four dollars. I picked up a 32 gig card from Amazon. And the key to getting this to work is you need your original cable that came with the iPod that has both a USB and a FileWire adapter on it. So it's a dual cable. For some reason iTunes will not restore the code on the flash drive unless you have this cable. So if you just try to restore it using the FireWire cable it won't restore. If you try restoring it using the USB cable it won't restore. So you need to power your iPod with the original FireWire power supply and then the other cable goes to the USB port on your PC and then I was able to easily restore the iPod and then once it was restored you could rebuild your music list on the uh, on the iPod. This was originally a 30 gig model so now it has 32 gig not much of a space improvement but it's nice because it it's in my car permanently, so I don't have to worry about uh, upsetting the hard drive anymore. And this never worked when it was very cold out. When it was always very cold out, the hard drive would take a good half hour to warm up before it would start working. Now with the CF card in here, I'm not going to have that issue anymore. It was the usual challenge trying to open the iPod up. That was not easy. I used a utility knife and just kept running it along the edge here several times and was finally able to get it to release where I was able to push that those indents in there and then get the case off. The adapter on eBay is called CF to iPod IDE adapter Toshiba hard drive SSD 3L. It came from Hong Kong. It took about three weeks to get here and it was about four bucks.